Now, the rest of the story. They are called the Endless Mountains of Bradford County, Pennsylvania, and from their mists emerges a brigadoon, a benevolent place strangely invisible to most of the world, and yet which so many owe their safety, even their lives. That place is Sanctuary Hill. It's a home to societies forgotten for the past five years. To the 31-acre compound from quarters often curiously distant come those whom the system has declared non-persons, the homeless, the jobless, the hungry wanderers of urban streets, the sleepers in alleyways, the rummagers through garbage cans, the haunters of junkyards and rail yards, and the aimless travelers of country roads. And yet if those who want for little tend to turn from those whose needs are great, there are a handful of saints on this planet not the least of whom is 67-year-old Leslie Sinclair. Sanctuary Hill was Leslie's idea. Since 1982, that haven has been the last hope for thousands of the nation's destitute. The complex houses 800 at a time. There are no rows of beds in barn-like buildings. Individual living quarters are provided, as are food and medical care. There is no charge to the residents of Sanctuary Hill, the refuge is funded primarily through the inherited estate of a drug manufacturer, additionally through dollar-at-a-time donations. Very many of the disenfranchised who come to Sanctuary Hill will never leave. To this forever home, they bring varied histories, of which founder Leslie Sinclair keeps records. Some have lost their families through death or desertion. Some have lost physical or emotional health through unbearable trauma. Some have been so awfully victimized in life that when they arrive at Sanctuary Hill, they simply lie down and turn their faces to the wall and will themselves to die. The guardian angel of all of them is Leslie Sinclair. Amid the Sanctuary Hill housing is an impressive hospital building which contains two intensive care units. Machines in the laundry room run from 6 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon, non-stop, to keep towels and blankets spotless. In addition to the routine personal sacrifices which Leslie has made. There is one monumental one, her illness, chronic, constantly debilitating, sometimes agonizing, coughing and sneezing, choking, interspersed with headaches which never go away. Little suffering, she says, compared to that of those for whom she cares, and yet the kingdom of kindness she has created remains reality at great personal expense. Sanctuary Hill, last chance at a life for nearly a thousand at a time, the homeless to whom Leslie Sinclair is hopelessly, ceaselessly, profoundly, physically allergic. That's right. It is her severe allergic reaction to them that's the source of her own incessant discomfort. For you see the forgotten ones remembered on Sanctuary Hill. Those to whom she is profoundly allergic, those who cause her so much hurt, she has rescued and brought there from everywhere. Dogs and cats. And now you know the rest of the story.